Chot Reyes. Yes, uh, thank you, Dick. I'd like to say good evening to uh, all our televiewers. We're in for a great game. Uh, nothing could be more dramatic than this, I feel, personally being, uh, as you mentioned, the Blue Eagle, a former Blue Eagle myself. What I wouldn't give to be in the places of the players right now, Dick. I can imagine your feeling. And having played for the soccer team before in the NCAA, it's also a thrill for me to be sitting on the sidelines reporting the action to you. Of course, I've also had a few years of college in the University of the East, so actually, I'm an alumnus of both UE and Ateneo, but of course, once you've been to Ateneo, Chot, you can testify to this. There's no way that you can shake off that Ateneo spirit. Yes, and I and guess the fans out here are showing this. And I think uh, the thing that you mentioned, Dick, the Ateneo spirit, that undying fighting spirit that the Ateneans are known for, will really have to serve them in good stead in this game. Ateneo, as most people would uh, are want to think, would come into this game as heavy favorites being that they only have to win one stick. However, had a few years of college in the University of the East, so actually, I'm an alumnus of both UE and Ateneo, but of course, once you've been to Ateneo, Chot, you can testify to this. There's no way that you can shake off that Ateneo spirit. Yes, and I and guess the fans out here are showing this. And I think uh, the thing that you mentioned, Dick, the Ateneo spirit, that undying fighting spirit that the Ateneans are known for, will really have to serve them in good stead in this game. Ateneo, as most people would uh, are want to think, would come into this game as heavy favorites, being that they only have to win one stick. However, unknown to many, Ateneo is going into this game minus Danny Francisco, who has been their number one slot man. Uh, he unfortunately uh, suffered a uh, collapsed lung stick and he had to be operated on and he's going to be lost for the remainder of the season. So that is really a pity. It is yes, a pity. Ateneo is going into this, into this match minus their pillar of strength in the middle. Of course, Eric Reyes and Alex Aronet are going to be there. But against Angelico Dinera, they're going to need uh, Danny Francisco a lot. So really, the fighting spirit and the momentum will have to be here. Uh, with Ateneo in tonight's battle. If Ateneo doesn't win tonight, it's going to be very hard for them to wrap it up on the next game. They've got to win this one and finish the series tonight. Well, they won't be wanting in terms of support from the entire Coliseum. As I pointed out earlier, thousands of Atenean fans are here at the Rizal Memorial to lend that much-needed moral support. Let's go through the starting lineups, shot. We've got Araneta jumping against Codinera, and uh, the rest of the starters are very well known to you. Yes, our uh, point guard is June Reyes. Off guard is going to be manned by Inonoy Chutico. Shooting forward is uh, Joseph Canlas, and uh, David Gayoso will play power forward. In fact, both of them could be uh, uh, reversible. They could play uh, either the power forward or the shooting forward slots. In the absence of uh, regularly Dick, we're going to find Eric Reyes starting at power, but because he has to play center with the absence of Danny Francisco, Eric Reyes has, has to sit this out first at the start, and he's going to come in as relief for Araneta. On the other hand, for UE, a really strong powerhouse uh, lineup, Bernie Villarreal at power for a, a point guard, uh, David Samar off guard, shooting forward with Marina, power forward, Gilmer Banyares, and at center, Number one center, maybe in the land, Jericho Dinero. Here we go with the action. June Reyes setting up J.B. Gayosa. He drives in. J.B. Gayosa making the ice for the Blue Eagles. It's two to nothing. Just pointed out the power pack starters of the University of the East Warriors. All these players have seen action in the PABL ball club game. Now we've got a new equalizer by Barilo. And a recovery under the hoop. Beautiful assist pass. Coming from Zamar, setting up Barile. Forward pass, Tratico fires and misses. And we've got a recovery by Banyares. Over to Barile, down the left sideline. Barile with a lateral pass, Villarias. But there is a charge going against Barile as he battled into Joe Canlas. As usual, Joseph Canlas, we mentioned in our other telecasts of the games, Dick, Joseph Canlas could be the best guy in the UAP, the entire UAP at throwing the charge. He's not afraid. He's going to stand in your path and throw your full weight. And that's precisely what Joey Canlas did in that last play. And we have a turnover. Gayoso now has it. Araneta jockeying for a position. We've got a deflection by 
Villarias and an interception by UE. Right off, UE showing us a different look. They're playing a zone, but Pax and one with only one guy on Chotico. The other four guys are playing a zone. What a good drive by Barile of JB Gayoso. He got the half step on Gayoso. 4 2 now for the Warriors. They have won 17 crowns in the UWA, while the Ateneans are fighting for their first one. But they've won five, or 15 rather, in the NCAA. These are the two winningest teams in both the NCAA and UWAP, and now they meet in the University League. Yes, uh, Ateneo now is going to be tested in the early going. Can they adjust to this box and one zone thrown at them by UE? Okay, June Reyes all the way to Gayoso. He fires a jumper, and they've got the whistle blowing. There is a foul away from the ball. Barile, he's the man assigned to uh, check Donoy uh, Chotico. That'll be foul number two against Barile, and he'll have to watch it. 4 2 is a count. Three team fouls committed by UE. There's a drive and the layup, but a miss. A miss by Chotico. Sorry, miss. It was a good move. Villarias now with a head and shoulder fake. He's got a good outside shot, so they'll have to watch him. Zama with a jumper. Air ball attempt. Tangas lets it go out. We have a backward throw in for the Blue Eagles. Two point advantage by UE. June Reyes moving into the front court. The bounce pass to Bayoso. Over to Araneta. And there's another interception. Telegraph passes. And we've got a foul in the front court by Chatico as he bumped into Jerry Codinera. Codinera and Chatico are going to be teammates in the Montoya squad in the pay bill. Right and right away there is a foul by Chatico and Codinera. The only way to stop him was to come into contact with Jerry. And we've got a front court throw in for UE. Right off, we've seen three frustrated offensives by Ateneo. They're trying to work the ball inside against the zone. I really think pick against the zone, the better option would be to take an outside shot. Nobody coming in for that rebound, and Jerry Codinera anticipated the bounce and scores 6-2. The Ateneo Blue Eagles frozen in their tracks. They did not move for that loose ball, and they paid the price. Four-point lead now for UE as June Reyes signals the play. There's a cut and another interception by Codinera this time. Outlet pass, Damar laying up and missing a girl's contact. Spotted by referee Rado Mercado. Slow start by Ateneo. Four turnovers immediately. And yes. Uwe has cashed in. We've got a timeout requested by the Blue Eagles. They trail 2-6 and will return shortly. Two minutes and 35 seconds gone by in this exciting championship title fight between two outstanding university quintets, the Ateneo Blue Eagles, who need only win once, and the UE Warriors, who have won so many times, they're multi-title champions in the UAAP. Zamar converts on his first of two charities. It's 7-2. Two. two for two from the line by Zamar. Very experienced UE Warrior quintet starting out. Two for press thrown by UE now. Reyes from the outside. He misses. And Davy Gayoso did not maintain position of Codinera. Six point lead for UE. Three minutes gone by. Zamar sets up Banyares. He's got a good outside shot also. Banyares takes him in. And now it's 10 2. Calling the shots on the UE bench is Roel Nadorata, a former member of champion contests of UE. And he's assisted by Tito Varela. Outside try is a failure. Ateneo forced to take the outside shot. Zama fumbles the ball away and fails to retrieve it at the baseline. Eight point lead for the UE Warriors as Eric Reyes comes in for that much needed firepower. Yes. Tito Alitan is calling the shots on the Ateneo bench. Ateneo is. Uh Taking the, the shots in a hurry. They've got to be more patient, work the ball around, and try to break the zone. Right, we mentioned Kiko. It's Chris, Kiko's son, who's calling the shots. And Kiko was an outstanding heavy bomber and Olympian in his own time. Gayosa gets the opening. They're baiting them into taking the outside shots. Gayosa with the layup, and there is a whistle by both officials. We've got Nick Penalosa working the game with Rado Mercado. Foul by Codinera for that drive-in play by JB. He 
should be taking two charities at the Southern Basket. Uh, we can gauge how surprised Coach Kalilan was with the move of uh, Coach Nadorata by the fact that he called a very early timeout, which means that he totally did not expect uh, the box and one defense that uh, Coach Nadorata would throw at him. And that's a reason for this response now. We have Eric Reyes coming in. The outside shooters of the Ateneo are not clicking. It's 10-4 right now with Belloso getting all the four points. Villarias setting up Banares. Banares spotting from the outside and converting. He's got a very steady outside shot. Reyes moving in. The bounce pass. Araneta. But there was a foul on the play going against Villarias that time. It'll be a sideline throw-in for the Blue Eagles in their own front court. But that will be the 15th foul against UE versus two by the Blue Eagles. Four minutes gone by here, deception on that inbound. And June Reyes takes advantage of Villarias not crowding him that time, collecting on an open shot. Villarias, yeah, Villarias had to pay the price for going for the steal. He, he wasn't right. successful, so he left Reyes open. Banares a little uncertain, picked up by Eric Reyes, who turns around, fires, and misses. And it's J.B. Gayosa for that recovery. Into the front court by Gayosa. He may go in all the way. He is blocked out to pass the ball. Blocked by Cordillera. And now it's Barini for the layup, too. Gayosa should have passed off. It's 14-6 now. Reyes sees the opening. But he miscalculates. And Huey on a fast break again. Zamar to Banares. Banares fires and misses. Loose ball, tapped over to Chotico. Two on two situation. Chotico swings around, sets up Reyes for the back shot. He misses and it's Cotinera controlling. Tough miss. It was Three a wide situation open. thrown away by Ateneo. And we've got an interception. Reyosa saves the ball. He tapped it over to Reyes. Reyes goes in. Reyes, that's it. Set up by June. Beautiful assist by June Reyes. Now it's 48 and the lead is cut down to six. Dick, if Ateneo has any advantage in this ball game, that they have a deeper bench. So they're going to try to run Huey to the ground. And that's precisely what's happening right now. In the foreground, you can see the Ateneo cheerleaders egging on a babbling battalion. Good move by Villarias, a tip in and a failure by Cordillera. Recovery by Villa, uh, by uh, Barile. Cordillera now setting up Banales. He sets and misses. And there is a foul by June Reyes. Or is it Gayosa? Both of them were involved in that play. On Reyes. It is June Reyes collecting his first contact, arm contact, and J.B. Gayosa moves out for Joey Nieto. Dick, the problem here, every time the ball was taken, a shot was taken, Alex Areneta was nowhere to be found underneath the basket. He's too far away from the ball. He's got to be there to get the defensive rebound. The Blue Eagles are feeling the absence of Danny Francisco at the moment. He has been very steady on defense, blocking and getting those rebounds. 15-8 is a count on the first hit by Villarios. It's a seven-point advantage for UE. Joel Nadorata signaling play number three. It's and going to the second is also in. They're going to press the It's a full court press by UE. And here is June Reyes breaking out of that press, going to Araneta. Araneta banking one and missing. The follow-up is good, and Nieto. Barile was wide open, signaling for the pass, but too late. They didn't spot him in time. Now it's 16-10, and the lead is cut down to six points again. Barile sidestepping, laying up, and missing. There's a tip-in by Godinera. A lot of power by Jerry Godinera. 18-10. Now it's Trotico in the front court for Ateneo. Cross court pass. Nieto fires and collects a three point shot. The first triple of the ball game. It's 18 13. Luis Lee cut down to five. Villarias. Villarias got to get the defensive rebound. Villarias pushing out. There is a foul going against Cotinera. He was caught pushing off on that loose ball play. And that will be the 16th foul against Luis. And the first contact by Jerry Cordinera. That was a good break. Rick Cordinera was very open, wide open underneath for the follow-up. He was caught pushing off. He thought he'd gotten away with it, but it was spotted by the officials. 
18-13, a five-point advantage. Rodinera is world-wise in those tricks. Reyes for a triple. It bounces out, and Barile with a beautiful outlet pass. Villarreal with a change of pace, but he misses. And we've got a loose ball recovered by Reyes. Good hustle. A lot of hustle there by Jones. He sets up Nieto. Nieto under the hoop. He is blocked. It has been a foul there. Rodinera is taking the ball away from him. Give and go. There's a layup and the hit by Villarreal. Set up there by Barile. Now the count is 20-13, UE by seven. Louisville starting slow again. Top napping by the UE Warriors. A miss, and Codinera again, triggering off another UE fast break. Zamar under the hoop, Villarreal's wide open. What a break, what a break by UE. Lack of concentration on defense by Ateneo. 22-13, biggest lead, nine points by UE. They've got a lot of championship experience behind them. And UE has perennially figured in the finals of the UAAP. A miss and no foul on the play. Chatico hitting the deck, give and go. And the ball is tapped out. Here's a turnover. Stepping on the baseline by Zama. And it'll be a backcourt throw-in for the Ateneo Blue Eagles for the first time out requested by UE. We'll return right after this. Union fans, and this is reminiscent of the UP encounter when UP was hungry for a title about two years, three years ago. Let's hope the action uh, does not disappoint this big Ateneo crowd. Joey Douglas just got his first basket with a flank hit. Now it's 22 15. Buddy Nera moves in, turns around, he is blocked. But he gets a rebound under the hoop, and Yaris misses. It's Nieto. Fighting for that loose ball, and there's a tap out by Zamar, or Villarias, rather. The inbound panelist back to Reyes. Seven point lead for UE. The pass going to Eric Reyes. He is open, but he missed on that one handed flip. Just Jericho Vignera is not giving up a nail any second chances. Yes, he has been very steady off the glass. He has dominated the boards, and Zamar misses on a turn around. He is wide open. Reyes setting up Nieto. Nieto with the left hand that he misses. And there is the ball being kept alive. Okay, and Codinera. finally Codinera getting it. Codinera controlling, showing why he is the best setter in the country today. A looper going to Zamar. Zamar crowded and fouled by Reyes. Second contact by June. He'll have to watch it. And Chris Kalila the moves over to Rasella. Uh, who will be coming in to give Jim Reyes a rest. Yuri is going to what could be the uh, weakest link in Ateneo's defense. Uh, Jim Reyes, or with the entry of Russell, is going to be also in Russell and now, who's going to be taking on uh, David Samar, 6-1 or 6-2, as against the 5-7 point guards of Ateneo. So they're playing him low post, and it's going to be very hard for the Ateneo point guards to uh, defend against this attack. In the meantime, we have the first hit by Zamar, who has been very steady on the line, shooting at the north basket. It's 23-15 for UE. An eight-point lead during the first half, and another hit by Zamar. 24-15, again a nine-point lead for the Warriors. In the game, likewise, for the first time, is Jonko for the Blue Eagles. Nieto cutting for the basket. It's Joey Conlas. He is fouled. Knee contact by Codinera. Will be foul number three against him. And that is going to crack the style of the Warriors. We have a hurried replacement for Jerry Cardinera. Joe Mariquit comes in. Cardinera moves out. He was a real power off the boards. Now it's at the nail's opportunity to pound the boards, Dick. Right. In the absence of Cardinera, they've got to be able to get offensive rebounds. Russell in the meantime has come in for June Reyes. Nieto gets a pass. He fires and it's off the line. It was Marikit getting that first rebound of this. And here comes Zamar. Handing off to Bartolome. Villarias for a triple. Offline and short. Ball bounces out of the baseline for a turnover. Ateneo will have to spot the mismatch down low. Eric Reyes is being guarded by Vilmer Pañares at the low post. I think they can dump the ball to Eric Reyes and he can score. There's a switch. Mariquita has taken over Reyes. And 
there is a foul on the play going against Marikit. Marikit. Marikit was trying to muscle Eric Reyes out of position, but he paid for it with a foul, his first. Uh, you is showing us multiple defenses, Dick. Earlier on, they had the box and run, and then they went on a zone press. Now they're going on a sort of floating man-to-man. -man. So Ateneo with uh, Rossello, who's only in his rookie year, unused to championship pressure in the seniors. Of course, he's been in the championship team, the juniors, Dick. Right. Uh, however, unused to championship pressure in the senior division, he's got to uh, realize and uh, recognize right off what kind of uh, defenses UE is putting up. And try and counteract this yes. because he is the point guard now. Off guard is Joey Nieto. We've got a hit by Eric Reyes, his first point of the encounter. He was the outstanding player for Ateneo in their victory over De La Salle. For me, he's going to be the pivotal player in this game, especially with the absence of Danny Francisco. Uh, before Dick, uh, Ateneo, what they did was Eric Reyes was fronting Codinera, and then Francisco was uh, behind Codinera to prevent the lap passes. But now, with the absence of Francisco, Eric Reyes will really have to work double time. We have a question. Uh, I think it's the referees calling the attention of both coaches because of uh, player reactions to referee calls, Dick. That's right. And Coach Nadorata as well as Kalilan are briefing their players in order to prevent any untoward calls by the referees because the referees are going to be very strict in this title fight. They need complete control because the emotions are going to be very, very intense. Uh, Baricom head, Romy Fernandez, is calling the attention of the, uh, some members of the, in the audience, Dick. Uh, they're blowing their whistles, so uh, the referees are getting confused as to whether it's the real officials, uh, referees, or whistles, or uh, just a crack call. Right. Eric Gray is splitting his charity. He's missing his second. It popped out. It's 24-16. Zamar confronted by Jonko. Makes his move in. Marikit tries to power his way in, and he puts in a one-hander. 26-16, this is the biggest lead. 10 points by UE over Ateneo. Nine minutes and 50 seconds left in this first half. UE getting the jump. Rasella for a triple. It's a little long, and Ateneo's not getting any second shots. Villarias moving around Rasella, driving him into a pick, and wide open hit by Bartolome at that time, set up by Villarias. Ateneo has no offense at all, Dick. 28-16, Junko is given the open jump shot, and he sinks it, 28-18. Uh, what you is doing is they're daring Ateneo to beat them from the outside. And that's a lower percentage offensive try. It's Villarias now against Vasella. They're putting pressure there. There is a foul on the play. Zamar was double teamed by Carlos as well as Nieto with a foul going against Nieto, it seems. So it'll be charities for Zamar, who has been very steady on the line. What uh, Yui is doing on offense is that they're posting their point guards down low and forcing Ateneo to double team. If it's a Rosella against Villarias, he's, he's got to get help to be able to stop him. So Chris Kalilan counters by sending Chotico in for Rosella. Chotico is now going to play some point guard duty so that he could be able to uh, play better defense against the point guards if you will try to post down low. It is a one-on-one -on -one matchup between the two coaches. And so far, Coach Royal Nadorata, who has had a lot of experience in the Middle East, has been taking the initiative in the battle of the bench. We've got Chotico with the outlet pass all the way to Junko. Junko with the layup. A power drive by Junko against Villarias. Yes, uh, you, you got it right there, Dick. The problem, you has the advantage now here because Coach Nadorata has had, uh, has made the Coach Kalilan go on the reaction. It's now Nadorata's move and then Kalilan's reacting to every move he makes. And naturally, the coach who has the initiative would get the jump yes. on the opposing team. Coach Nadorata was the first one to pull a surprise, and that's made uh, Kalilan's job very reactive at this point. 28-20, an eight-point lead to attest to the fact that coach-wise, it has been Nadorata. There's a tap, and Villarias gets it. Over to Zamar, they regroup. Yui Warriors playing 
solid basketball at this point. Bartolomeu for the triple. It was a surprise jumper, and this will be the biggest lead of UE. An 11-point advantage, 31 to 20. We've got to get it to Eric Reyes in the low post. Jonko crowded his pass with Telegraph. Panlas with a short try, it bounces, and it's Jonko getting a foul from Zama. Ateneo will just have to tire out the veterans on the UE squad. As Troy pointed out, they have a shallower bench than the Blue Eagles, and this should be the ploy of Chris Kalila. Right now, only Jerry Codinera has been replaced together with Barile, Barile, the two starters of UE. He's conserving them for the more important action during the latter part of this first half as well as the second and final half. Yes, because experience-wise, Ateneo is really at a disadvantage on two counts. First, U is very used to championship pressure. Secondly, players of UE have been, have seen PABL, have been exposed to PABL competition a whole lot more than their Ateneo counterparts. And PABL's experience has really honed them up. They're playing like veterans. Yes, big crowds are nothing new to these UE players. Okay, we have three eight minutes ball. left and a three-second call for a turnover. We have Ateneo inbounding and in possession behind by nine points now, 31 to 24. Chuatico, crowded by Bartolome. Junko giving it to Kandlas in the corner. He takes the attempt and misses. Jun Marikit pulls down that loose ball. Villarios for a triple. Bounces out and it's Banyares. Foul Banyares. Banyares with a shove. And that will be a penalty situation foul by Banyares. It'll be one and one. There's been a lot of that going on, and that's what we mean by experience. Yes. <laughs> that if you have the experience, you can get away with a lot of shenanigans under the basket, particularly where you are so crowded that sometimes the referee can't spot the fouls. Except, of course, they can be eagle-eyed referees like referee Petalosa and Mercado in this game. That's right, and they're on top of the situation. Panlas making his first and earning his second. In the background, you hear that famous Halakinu cheer of the Ateneo Babbling Battalion. If sheer number wins a championship fight, then definitely the Blue Eagles should win this one because they have at least three-fourths of the Coliseum pack with blue and white yeah. cheerers. Too bad the game is played on the hard court. <laughs> That's true. There's a flip and a miss. Another foul to by Zabar. And there is a loose ball. Tap out. Kanlas getting his last touch on the ball. 31 to 24, a seven-point lead enjoyed by the Warriors over the Blue Eagles. Jonko crowding Zamar. Villarias lost possession, but it's picked up by Bartolome. He fires and misses. And there is a tap out by John Marikit. Outside for Ateneo. The Blue Eagles know that they're battling experience and a team that has a lot of Exposure to championship battles in the UAAP. Bad pass there by Chotico, intended for JV Goyosa for a UE interception. A miss by Villarias, and we've got a foul on the play going against Jonko. Arm contact by Jonko, but Ateneo. That puts them now in penalty is now situation. in penalty situation, so that foul didn't count for a one and one. Uh, too bad, be. yes, too bad, Dick, that Ateneo's been missing a lot of offensive opportunities. Right, it'll be a front court throw in for UE. Zamar inbounds to Villarias. Two season backcourt men in the PABL. Bartolome, back to Zamar with six minutes and 45 seconds left. Zamar hands off to Villarias, but he's crowded. He can't take the outside shot. They have 12 seconds left on the shot clock. Villarias with a short stab, and the loose ball goes over to Jonko. Junko may go in all the way. He sets up Chotico. Very smart by Junko. On selfish play, he drew the man to him and set up the open layup for Chotico. 31 to 26, just a five-point lead for UE. Marikit using his heavier body in a power drive, 33 to 26. Marikit is providing the low post attack for UE with the absence of Codinera, Dick. That's right. 
Ayoso powers his way in, but misses. He just came in. Didn't hit the right spot on the glass. Yes, that was a good drive, though. Villarias has it. Runs his man into a pick by Zamar. Villarias down the right flank. He stumbled. It'll be one and one for Bernie Villarias as Platico apologizes. It was a slip, really. We have a Blue Eagle timeout with a time down to 5 and 47 in this first half, and the Eagles trailing by 7, 33 to 26. We'll be back after this break. Uh, Marikit and Banyares in is a slower ball club now. Right, Elia is in the game for the first time. This is Rusty Tutor Elia. A miss from the outside by Bassa. And we have dropped somewhat. It's 35 to 30. It's very hard to check Banyares. You've got to take his shot at the back of his head. He's got to be defended behind his head. He's not going to be bothered even if there's a hand in front of him. Right, Bassa with a cross-court pass. Tanlas is open. He moves in closer and snaps off a one-hander. 35 to 32, that's a sweet spot. Four minutes and 20 seconds to go. Leading the Ateneo fans, we have Senator Raul Manglapus, who composed that famous Fabilio cheer of the Ateneo, and also the victory song, Fly High. We have the president of the UAAP out here, also Father Raymond Holcher, and Brother James Dunn is in there also, cheering for the Ateneo team. They know that this is the first time that the Blue Eagles will have an opportunity to go home with the UAAP crown. Uh, foul there on uh, Joseph Canlas after he bit into the fake of uh, Wilmer Banyares. That's foul number two against Canlas. It'll be one-on-one -on -one for Banyares. Both teams in penalty trouble as Araneta is briefed by Chris Kalilan before coming in. Banyares converts on his first and earns a second. Yes, uh, Coach Kalilan will have to rest Eric Reyes, I feel, especially now that... Codinera is also on the bench. Also, prominently here watching this championship game is executive director of Project Gintongalai, Joey Romasanta. A little tan, probably from either tennis or golf. He's enjoying the action. Outside miss by Chuatico. Ateneo has been missing badly yes. from the outside. Ateneo has been running terrible half-court offense. They're very successful on the break, but when it's a half-court game, they're very, they're having a very poor execution. No pattern at all. Except for Canlas, there have been no steady outside shooters for Ateneo. While UE has been getting those outside shots, as Zamar just showed you, it's 39 to 32. A seven point lead opened up by the Warriors again. Chuatico over to Basa, the bounce pass. Turn around by Reyes, he misses. But we have a loose ball foul against Elia. As he crowded Gayoso from behind. It'll be one-on-one -on -one for J.B. Gayoso. Elia, given a talking to by coach Roel Nadorata. Now we see Alex Araneta coming in for Eric, or for Joseph Canlas. One-on-one -on -one for J.B. Gayoso, and Ateneo has lost its earlier fire. Every time the game slows down, UE has been able to get away from the clutching hands or the claws of the Blue Eagles. Yes, but like every time it speeds up, Chuck, we find that the Eagles game, have yes. a big advantage. Uh, problems in the half-court offense stems from the fact that they don't have a genuine point guard uh, on court. It's Chotico is doing that job. So that's where Ateneo is having problems now. Right. There is Senator Raul Manglapus. Talk about an Ateneo fan. He is one of them. A shot is counted, and we've got a foul on the play. Coming from J.B. Gayosa, Barile. Forced that shot up. It caught the hoop and sank, and it'll be a three-point play for Barile. Jude Reyes comes back in for Chuatico. His outside shooting has not been working. Seven-point lead could move up to eight points with the bonus charity of Barile, another seasoned veteran of the PABL, playing for the UE Warriors. The others are Villarias, Zamar, Banyares, and, of course, the national center, Jerry Codinera, who is sitting on the bench, cooling his heels with three fouls against him. Three minutes left in this first half, and it's an eight-point lead for the UE Warriors. They also takes, takes a shot. Five short. shot. He did not have the proper spring, nor the proper position for that shot. 
The Blue Eagles forcing those shots now. Long cross-court pass. Villarias in an overload. Fires and sinks it. It's a triple. It was a well-planned play by yes. UE. Villarias is known for his outside shooting. So is Pinares. 45 to 34, 11 point lead and a miss. We've got Eric Reyes guilty of a charge that time as he barreled into Barile. It's an offensive foul by Eric Reyes. Ateneo's not getting, it's not taking good shots at all. Very poor shot selection for Ateneo now. And the stands are silent as Huey moves into an another offensive. Inside play with Barile challenging three Eagles and we've got a foot trap by Bassa. That's a violation. It'll be out of bounds for UE. Two minutes and 13 left in this first half. Villaria is le left open again, but this time he misses. The ball can't alive. We've got a foul by Banares. Banares is another important player for UE. Yes, remember, Dick, UE has two three-point shootout finalists in their lineup, and we're talking of Bernie Villaria and Vilmer Banares. Both of them landed in the final eight in the PABL three-point shootout. So it shows you the kind of outside artillery this team has. That'll be the second foul by Banyares. As Eric Reyes prepares for his charities. He only has a point in this game so far. And that ball trickles in. Extremely soft shot by Eric Reyes. What should be bothering Coach Kalilan right now is that Yui is pulling away in spite of the fact that Jericho Dinara is sitting on the bench that is for ominous the, for the uh, Warriors. Again, Eric Reyes unable to get that second shot. And this time around, we have a foul by Araneta, so it'll be one-on-one -on -one for June Mariquit. Mariquit has been doing a terrific job filling in for Jericho Dinara. Two minutes and seven seconds left as Mariquit is given some words of advice by Codinera. This is Ildefonso Mariquit Jr. at 6'4 and 210 pounds. The alternate pivot man of UE has been doing a tremendous job. Yes, Mariquit used to be a boxer, Dick. And he has the physique for it. Yes. Second try by Mariquit is also in. This is the biggest lead by UE. 12 points, 47 to 35, two minutes and five seconds left. Reyes back in the contest. Gets it back from Gayoso. Looks for the open man. Gets a screen. Fires a bounce pass. And there's a turnover. Gayoso couldn't handle that bounce pass. So they're trying to go in now. I think it's time for Jeff Nieto to get it back into this ball game instead of uh, Mel Bassa. Zamar for UE. They're playing it calm and cool. Getting the jump on the Blue Eagles. Barile with a fake. The very shifty power forward. The bounce pass. Reflected out by Alex Araneta. 30 seconds left on the shot clock of UE. UE is uh, countering Ateneo's speed with very deliberate, well-planned executions, Dick. They're really taking their sweet time on offense. They're a well-drilled aggrupation, and they're showing it, especially on this slow break. Barile loses the ball on a tap, and it's Jun Reyes moving in. Reyes setting up, missing. There's a follow-up. Oh, missed by Araneta. He, he was going too fast for his own good. Now it's Zamar with a semi-hook, which he fails to sink, and we've got a follow-up by Banyares. 14-point lead now for UE, 49 to 35. Four-point swing. <laughs> Cannot move in. Jun Reyes in a crouch. Araneta makes his move in. He fires, misses. The tap goes back to Reyes for a triple. Bullseye, 49 to 38. First triple by Jun Reyes, and Atena really needed that. 11-point lead for UE. Zamar challenged by Jun Reyes. Oh, and there's Zamar. a foul by Zamar as he warded off Jun Reyes with his left arm. Number three also for David Zamar. The UE Warriors may be ahead, but the foul situation is starting to work against them with Jerry Godinera and Zamar nursing three fouls too. Villarias is number 10 on the Dewey squad. He's got one, while Barile has two. That's a foul situation as far as the veterans of UE are concerned. We just saw Jet Nieto and Tony Chodigo coming in for Bassa and uh, Sorry miss by Jun Reyes, and there's a tap out by Mariquit. 
Araneta is challenging Mariquet now off the glass and doing a good job of it. They've really got to be more aggressive on the boards. There he is, Escalila under the hoop. Oh, what a start it is by Eric Reyes. He was wide open. He wanted to make too sure. He wanted to make it too sure. Reyes, I think, is a little too uptight. He realized that he was the big difference in the last game against the LaSalle, and right now he is over anxious. He's trying too hard. There's a beautiful reverse hit by Barile. Only five seconds left before the end of the half. Reyes takes a 15-foot shot. This is fouled on the play by Mariquit with 1.9 seconds to go. It'll be one and one for Eric Reyes. Uh, the sorry misses, Dick. The sorry misses really have to hurt Ateneo a lot. First, we saw June Reyes miss a layup, which was followed by a great follow-up dunk, supposed to be by Araneta, who also missed it. Eric Reyes down from underneath the basket, also missing a layup. And this is really going to count, uh, especially uh, as we approach the end game. Codinera has just been placed back in effort to control the rebound with a one two seconds to go. And Reyes misses. It's Barile holding on to it. And there's the halftime buzzer with Yui enjoying a 13-point lead, 51 against Ateneo's 38 after 20 minutes of action. The Blue Eagles and the Warriors are going to their dressing rooms to map out their strategy and tactics for the second and final half. Right now, let's pause momentarily for these reminders before we bring you the halftime scores. Uh, Junjun Capistrano is there also. This is Fabio the cheer that Raul Manglapos himself worked out. Still got the old form. got that old dungeon and while the players are working out and mapping out their tactics for the second and final half we've also got the eagle out there that great symbol of the blue and white he is an authentic monkey eating eagle as senator Raul Manglapus moves back to the presidential box greeted by father Raymond Holcher and brother James Dunn, of course, in a great cheerleading performance. You're back with us here at halftime, and we're all set to bring you the breakdown of the halftime scores with Chuck Reyes. Chuck? Yes, for the lead team, the UE Warriors, we have on top uh, with 11 points, uh, Conrado Barile. And then after him is Wilmer Vanares at 10 points, 9 points for Verne Villaria, 6 points apiece for the surprising junior. Points Alfredo Baltarumé, five points with one triple, and then four points for Jericho Dinera, who had to sit out the majority of the half because of uh, foul trouble. He incurred his third foul uh, even before the 10 minute mark of the first period. On the other hand, uh, that was a total of 51 points for UE. On the other hand, for Ateneo, 38 points. Leading them is uh, JV Cayoso and Joseph Canlas, both with six points apiece. Five points for June Reyes and Jet Nieto. Four points for Mel Basa, Eric Reyes, and Hodge Jonko, and Nono Jutico, their leading scorer, only two points in the first half. Uh, this could be a very important uh, factor. Nono Jutico, they've got to get these points, especially on the zone uh, thrown at, by Yui at Ateneo. He's got to score more for only a very low total of 38 points for Ateneo. The other stats, Dick, uh, three points, both uh, squads have hit two out of their uh, three-point tries. The big difference is in the two-point uh, area where UE has scored 17 out of 28 from the field for a high 61% average. On the other hand, Ateneo only 11 out of 24 for uh, at most a uh, fair 46% from the field. Three throws practically even, 11 out of 14 for UE, 79%. 10 out of 13 for Ateneo at 77%. So up and down, looking up and down the stats, Dick, the difference has been two-point field goals. And if we have a shot chart, we'd find out that both of, Ate of uh, UE's points have come inside the paint. They're killing Ateneo underneath the basket. While UE has been able to penetrate, Ateneo has not been able to bring that ball into that shaded area, then they've been failing miserably from the outside. There's a tap-out for a re-jump. 
rules referee Nick Peñalosa. In a word, Dick, the difference in the first half was really experience. Uni's experience both in the, with championship pressure and their PBL exposure really paying off. But Uri will have to watch out because a lot of their veteran players are saddled with fouls. Marikit scores on a short stab, and he is fouled for a three-point play opening up the second and final half. Again, Jun Marikit lording it over Alex Araneta. Who towers over him by a couple of inches. At least. Good bounce on that try for a completed three-point play by Marikit. Chatiko is back on the lineup for the Blue Eagles. He takes the Another poor shot. shot. Under the hoop, it's Eric Reyes getting the loose ball and following up for two. Ateneo is not even working the ball around on offense, Dick. They're taking prematurely fast shots without coming in and working on a pattern. Charging. We've got a charge on the play. Going against Barili, that'll be foul number three against him. And again, it's Joey Canvas who drew the foul from the veteran Barile. That's going to really hurt later on because one more foul on Barile and he will be crippled. It's 54 to 40 at the moment, a 14-point lead enjoyed by UE. Jun Reyes, 18 seconds left on the shot clock as Joey Canvas takes the jump shot and sinks it. 54 to 42. Could be the start of a Blue Eagle rally, but it's very early in the second half to tell. Elia, younger brother of George, another point guard for the UE Warriors. Pañares, inside to Mariquit. Mariquit being muscled out. He is blocked. He forced the shot. And we've got a loose ball loss at the baseline for a turnover in favor of Ateneo. Elia was trying to, uh, to gain control of the level, but he was stepping on the line as he was doing so. Good help defense given to Alex Araneta that time around. Canlas fires and misses. And we've got a recovery by Elia. Again, one pass offense by Ateneo. The defense of you isn't even moving. Elia moves in, lays up, sinks it. And we've got 56 to 42 on the scoreboard as Eric Reyes fires and banks it in. 56 to 44, good assist pass coming from June Reyes. 56 to 44, UE by 12 again. And Eric Reyes snags a missed shot. Here comes Stratico with the layup. Yes! Streaking home for the hit. 56 to 46. Yes, that fast break was made possible by good defense. Ateneo will have to clap down on defense. Two minutes gone by in the second half, and the Blue Eagles are behind by 10. They have gained three points so far in the second half. And again, the slow break is in progress with Banyaris missing, Araneta controlling Reyes. Good pass. A beautiful outlet oh. pass. Ah, Chatico unable to handle it for a turnover. That's why coaches will tell players always catch the ball with two hands, no matter how sure the pass should, the catch should have uh, seen. Another golden opportunity thrown away. Barile under the hoop. There is the whistle. We've got contact on the play going against Pepe Canlas. And that will be Joey Canlas' third foul. U is getting their points inside by rotating a few men in the paint. After uh, one or two cuts, we see another guy from low post flashing towards the middle, getting an entry pass and then penetrating, going for the basket. That's what experience will give you. All those moves. Again. Barile getting a second try. He banks it and misses. Araneta and nowhere to be found. Marikit will be given credit for that shot 58 to 46 june reyes over to chotico we're trying to give it to eric at the low post we've got canlas firing and scoring but the shot is nullified we've got a foul away from the ball going Mariquit. against marikit that's foul number three against marikit and a lot of you warriors are starting to get into foul trouble now 58 to 46 inside pitch Reyes with a short stab assisted by June Reyes 58 to 48 and again it's Eric Reyes proving to be the difference now for the Blue Eagles Banyares fakes drawing Eric Reyes out and he converts as Fratico was a little too far off to prevent that jumper 68 or rather 70 64 no, 60 to 48 rather the scoreboard a little slow in registering the score Reyes with a beautiful setup again for June, for Eric rather. 
Arjun Reyes with the assist. But Ateneo can't trade baskets, they've got to stop. 60 to 50 is a count, a 10 point lead opened up again. Villarias, one handed try what is good. Shot. The inbound to Jun Reyes, he streaks in, fakes, passes back to Joey Canlas, out again to Chotico. Three point try by Chotico is short. It's Eric Reyes controlling off Banyares. Back to Chotico, he tries again and misses again. And it's Araneta getting the rebound, following up with a jump shot that trickles in. Chotico trying to take his three pointer too much. Got to work the ball in. To 52, a 10 point lead again for UE. But Ateneo has not been able to come close. Barile makes his move in. Set up for Marikit. Nobody there to cover Marikit. That's 11 points already for Marikit. 64 to 52. He's not even supposed to score half that much, Dick. All right. And he's been giving Jerry Codinera that much needed rest. Canlas overshooting. And we've got Reyes getting the offensive rebound and following up. 64 to 54. 15 minutes and 15 seconds left in this final half. Elia signaling the play. Cross court pass goes to Barile. Barile against Canlas. Banyares, ball is tapped away, recovered by Banyares. He takes a triple and misses. Ball picked up by Elia. Elia from the flank sinks it. Ateneo's defense yes. is tight for the first shot, but very loose for the second. And Yui has been getting those all important tries. Araneta, guilty of, now he was fouled on the play, it looks like, as Marikit. he got the rebound. Could be Marikit again. And if it is Marikit's foul, it'll be his fourth. And so far, the scoreboard hasn't registered it. Elia moves out of the game now. And coming in is Zamar. Front court throw in for Ateneo. Reyes over to Eric. He is open again. Left and mark. 66 to 56. But Eric Reyes and Alex Araneta must get the rebound. A short stab by John Marikit again. No defense at all. 68 to 56. There's a tap out by Banyares. Handled last by Joy Canlas for a turnover. UE coming down very quickly to try and thwart those fast breaks of Ateneo. 12-point advantage for the UE Warriors, Zamar. Watch UE setting up their offense. They're just walking the ball, working the ball very well around the perimeter. Villarias running his man into a pick by Barile. Moving around again. It's Tuatico and Zamar getting away from Jun Reyes. Posting him down low. And now it's a 14-point lead, 70 to 56. The Blue Eagles unable to dent that lead at all. Taking the hurried outside shot most of the time. Eric Reyes retrieves one in the corner. Out again to Canlas. The pass by Jun Reyes intercepted by Banyares. Banyares spinning around his man. Four on one situation. Banyares on a give and go, but he misses, and there is a foul on the play. Going against, it could be Canlas. And if it is Canlas, it'll be foul number four against him. We are seeing now uh, Jet Nieto coming in for Alex Araneta. And June Reyes, also, likewise, yes, JP takes a risk. for June Reyes. We've got uh, a UE player on the court, Banyares. Banyares, catching his breath after getting a foul earlier. Uh, I, I think he got hit on his knee. 14 point lead for the UE Warriors, and it'll be two cherries for Banyares. This will be the biggest lead enjoyed by UE over the Blue Eagles. UE has to win twice over Ateneo to be able to win the championship in the UAAP Senior Division, while Ateneo need win only once after racking up a 13-1 record, dropping only one game against UP on opening day. Ateneo has defeated the UE Warriors twice by one point the first time around and by three in the second encounter. But tonight they're having difficulty. Short lob by J.B. Gayoso. 72 to 58. It's a 14 point lead again for UE. Biggest lead earlier at 16. Cross court pass by Nyares. Over to the cutting Barile. Barile pursued. There's a tap out by Nieto. 
17 seconds on the shot clock. Time down to 13 minutes and 15 seconds in the ball game. Crowded shot taken by Bagnares. And it's Tratico. Dribbling home. Nieto back to Tratico. He is fouled by Villarias. And that'll be foul number four against the UE Warriors in the second half against three fouls by the Ateneo. Now Bernie Villarias with two contacts against him. Time for Jerry Cotinella to get into this ball game. The next dead ball is going to come in. Canlas in the meantime misses. And we've got Villarias getting the pass from Zamar. He takes a three-point try and sinks it. Clean hit by Bernie Villarias, 75 to 58. Biggest lead, 17 points by the UE Warriors. 12 and 45 to go. And we've got a loose ball recovered by Tratico. He is fouled, though, before he is able to release. We have a timeout called by the Blue Eagles as Jerry Codinera comes in for June Mariquet. And we'll be back right after this. Your child is getting ready to face life alone. Preparing for it won't be easy. There will be moments of ups and downs, and you won't always be around to help. But there is something you can do now. Give your child's body and mind the chance to develop to be tough and strong for all the trials ahead. So get your child into sports today, because after all, life is one tough game. And if your child is to win it, the best time to learn the rules is now. Capture those precious moments in your life. Join Nescafe Master Roast and Nescafe Decaf Moments in Motion. Get a chance to win any of 20 Sony Video 8 cameras. 20 color TV. To join, write your name, address, promo name, and signature at the back of foil seals. Drop or mail entries. You can capture those precious moments on video and enjoy them over and over again. Nescafe Master Roast, Nescafe Decaf. Moments in motion. Nice going, Mustang. Relax and have one on me. Roger, Den Mother. Great. Trouble with your refreshment system? A negative. Where is he? Hi, boys. Pepsi, the taste of a new generation. This is the only Filipino beer acclaimed as one of the best beers in the world. San Miguel beer, one of the world's best beers. I think the Blue Eagles will really have to get fired up. They've got to increase the tempo of the ball game. And every time they do this, they managed to come as close as possible to the UE lead. Although UE has been able to control the pace of the game. Eric Reyes, very tense, very tight. At this stage, Dick, with, still, with only eight minutes gone in the first half, in the second half, UE already has had five offensive rebounds, and all of them were converted, so that's a big 10 points right there. None for two by Eric Reyes. And he didn't follow his miss in for a possible recovery. Elia crowded by Canlas. Zamar has it. Zamar taps it over to Elia again. They're weaving that ball around the outside perimeter, trying to jumble up the Ateneo defenses. Three-point try is a failure, and there's a tap out by Barile. Rather by Bartolome. Beautifully called game by Roel Nagurata so far. He has been taking advantage of his superior status. It's J.B. Gayoso blocked again. Loose ball. Gayoso fakes, fires, and misses. 
And there's a foul on the play. They're trying to get that fourth foul on Jerry Cordinera. And Gayoso went in and tried to bait him into the foul. But the foul goes against Elia, it seems. The experience of Cordinera, he knew he had three fouls. He just waited for the shots of Gayoso in the air, making sure no contact was involved. But that foul has placed Yui in penalty situation with 11 minutes and 36 seconds to go in this second half. Yes, Ateneo now will have to cash in on this. They've got to make their charities. They've been missing a lot of foul shots. Ateneo only has three fouls. That's a third miss. straight miss from the line by the Blue Eagles. Pressure, Dick. A lot of pressure. Eagles tonight. Jun Reyes is standing by to come in. Second try by J.B. Gayoso is on the way and in the basket. 77 to 61, the lead cut down to 16. Now we have Zamar at point guard for UE. Elia fakes, hands off to Zamar. Bartolome takes a shot and misses. Loose ball recovered by Canlas. Canlas on a pass sprint into the front court. His pass deflected out. It was deflected out by referee Peñalosa, did not see it, and he awards it to UE. Tough break. Bartolome lobs a pass to Codinera. He powers his way in. Well executed penetration by UE. Once Codinera gets the ball that deep, it's hard for him. It's gonna be, he's gonna be unstoppable down there. 79 to 61, an 18-point advantage. This is his biggest lead. Eric Reyes is open. He lays it in. It's only been Eric Reyes who's constantly answering for Ateneo. 79 to 63, but he'll need a lot of support, that's for sure. Inside play again, low post by Codinera. He gets it back, turns around, that's his sweet spot. What he sinks shot. it, using the glass. Eric Reyes gives it back to Chuatico. And Bartolome again harasses the point guard of the Blue Eagles. It's been working so well. Gayoso loses the ball, no foul. But Eric Reyes gets a bad pass. And this time around, we've got a foul by Reyes. We have a turnover. A fourth team foul against Ateneo. Ateneo is losing their composure. They've got to stay calm. The ball game is still within reach. 81 to 63, UE by 18. And now we have June Reyes, Jet Nieto, Alex Araneta, JB Gayoz, and Eric Reyes on court for the Blue Eagles against Zamar, Bartolome, Codinera, and Elia. Elia set up there beautifully by Jerry Codinera. Yes. Pinares is the fifth man. Jun Reyes double teamed on Codinera and he found Elia free. Nieto on a hurried shot. They're not waiting to get the good open shot. They're panicking now. It's a 20 point lead opened up by Yui. Zamar, again, working the slow break. Going to the low post with Jerry Codinera, watched closely by Alex Araneta. Codinera crowded, his pass bouncing off the chest of Bartolome. They also over to Jun Reyes on the inbound for Ateneo. Big 20 point lead enjoyed by Yui. Again, a hurried shot, but this one is good. It's a triple by Nieto. Trying to fire up the Blue Eagles. 83 to 66. This game, down to 17. this game is going to be won on defense. Dick Ateneo does not have any semblance of it at this point. From the flank, a miss by Elia. Eric Reyes now. Over to Nieto. Reyes, June, moving in. Crowded. He sneaks a shot up and in. Five points strung up by the Blue Eagles. Could be the start of a rally. And we have a foul. A pushing foul going against UE. be the fourth foul no it'll be the third foul rather against Banyares we have a timeout called by UE with nine minutes and a second to go in the second and final half and we'll be back right after this break you know something's cooking with Carnation Evap I've always known its delicious creamy taste Carnation Evap makes meals nutritious too. Me, I discovered it years ago. <laughs> I still like it now. For creamier soups and sauces, more delicious main meals, more appetizing snacks and desserts. Carnation Evap, the only milk I've trusted ever since. 
For me, it's the best. Enjoy it. Coronation of Death, the cooking milk. It's so cool. Sharing all the fun. Sharing something cool long after the day is done. Share a hope. You're sharing fun. You're sharing good times with everyone. Keep it cool and fresh. Share and enjoy that great hope freshness. That great hope freshness. If you were to look under the hood of cars made since 1919, you'd be surprised to find something common to many of them. Oriental, the country's first battery, the first to introduce technological innovations, and today, the first choice of many motorists. If Oriental can last that long, it must be really good. Oriental battery, since 1919. Una Salahat. Relax and have one on me. Roger, Den Mother. Great. Trouble with your refreshment system? A negative. Where is he? Hi, boys. Pepsi, the taste of a new generation. Together with Riley with three fouls each. Villarias is all set to come and he likewise has three fouls against him. Three-point play completed by June Reyes. 83 to 69. The lead cut down to 14. The Blue Eagles have to follow this up now. Zamar over to Bartolome. Inside to Banyaris. Banyaris with a surprise try. And it's June Reyes getting the loose ball. Moving into the front court, and there's a foul on the play by Elia. That time, Alex Araneta did the right thing. When, when the uh, shot of Ateneo of UE went off the mark, Araneta forgot about going for the rebound. Instead, he put the body on Codinera and boxed him out effectively. That's, That's one way of contributing to the team effort. Even though you don't get the rebound yourself, you create a situation helping your teammates get to the loose ball. Yes. Reyes was fouled. It's one on one. And he sets the first to earn a second. The rally continues. Eight straight points now. No, let's say seven straight points now for Ateneo. And this could be the eighth. It is. 8-0 blitz by the Blue Eagles, and the lead is cut down to 12 points. We're going to look for UE to go to Jerry Cotinero again at this point. Bartolome all the way to Zamar, and you can hear the cheer in the background. Get that ball. Cotinero firing and sinking it. Great shot, great shot. A clutch hit by Jerry Cotinero. June Reyes to Jet Nieto, triple try, and a miss. And we've got a follow-up by Araneta, but we've got a Gayoso. foul spotted on the play. A foul going against J.B. Gayoso that time. Nieto is taking a shot with no single blue eagle under the basket. They are hurrying it up too much. And it's not as if the game is lost. There's eight minutes left. They're only 14 points down. 85 to 71. And Ateneo has just committed its 15th foul where the UE Warriors are playing solidly as a team, the Blue Eagles are trying to do it one by one. They're, use, they're losing the cohesion that they displayed in the elimination. That's right. The cohesiveness that got them to this far. They've won 13 straight matches in the UAAP. What a block by Eric Reyes. Recovery made by June Reyes. Reyes loses the ball on a tap out by Barile. No one shouting behind. Blue Eagles very much in the battle, behind by 14, but still full of spunk and gumption. Inbound pass goes to Eric Reyes. Jeff Nieto has it, trying to give it to June Reyes. Reyes moving around, setting up Eric. Eric banks one in. Another beautiful team up by June and Eric Reyes. Yes, it's been the two Reyes all along, offense and defense. 85 to 73, the lead kept down to 12. Seven and a half to go. Barile out again to Bartolome. Walking. Bartolome travels for a turnover. And 
this could fire up and continue the Ateneo rally. They've got to get within less than 10 points yes. to really make an impact on the UE defenses. UE has been playing cool, controlled basketball. Nieto for a couple. Yes. That was and a good uh, shot. It, they swung the ball around. Nieto got it for three. And he had rebounders underneath in case of a miss. And now the lead is cut down to just nine. The whole Coliseum exploded that time. They've got a foul by Araneta on Codinera. Yes, even with that foul, Araneta's doing the right thing. He must prevent the ball getting into Codinera's hands. He's got to front him. Once Codinera gets the ball at the low post, it's very hard to stop Jerry. That's a third foul by Alex Araneta. Zamar inside to Jerry Codinera. He hooks and misses. Araneta gets the ball. Good defense by Alex Araneta. Jet Nieto waiting. He's in a sweet spot. Yeah, Doesn't want to right take the shot. Cross court pass. Araneta scoring. Assisted by Nieto. What a play. 85 to 78. The Blue Eagles are flying high. Seven point lead for the UE Warriors. And what a recovery the Blue Eagles have gotten. The key here is stop defense. Alex Araneta has suddenly sparkled and come into his yes. own against Jerry Codinera. There is a pass to Jerry. Codinera waiting for the cutters. There's a cheer. Get that ball. Charging. And there's a charge by Bartolome. Oh, Bartolome is soon as twisted his ankle. But he stomps it off. Ankle. It'll be a turnover, and June Mariquit will be coming in. He's hurting, but nothing's going to stop him from playing right now. This is a gamble now for Roel Nadurata putting his big men Jun Mariquit and Jerry Codinera in to control the rebounds. 85 to 78, Ateneo on the offensive. And in the rally, we've got Nieto firing and scoring. 85 to 80. Fantastic recovery by the Blue Eagles. 5 and 55 to go. And there's a bobble okay, and okay. in violation by Jerry Codinera. Now UE is starting to panic. They feel the pressure as the Blue Eagles continue with their onslaught. The whole Coliseum is on its collective feet. Now the point guard should tell his teammates to relax. They're within striking distance. Still five minutes and 50 seconds remaining. Plenty no need time. to hurry. Work Yui. for a good shot. Yui has dominated the contest so far, but they're starting to crumble. And we've got a rebound by Raneta. He is fouled. Foul picks up foul number four. Araneta with a fantastic rebound. Alex Araneta battling Jerry Codinera on an equal footing. Dick, it's as if I'm feeling Danny Francisco's presence in this ball game. He's willing his partner Alex Araneta on. Danny Francisco suffered a collapse left lung. He's at St. Luke's, and I'm sure that his entire family is cheering for the Blue Eagles tonight. And very likely his teammates are also dedicating this ball game to him. Alex Araneta for a one and one. He scores and earns a second try and the lead is cut down to just four. A trip to Hong Kong is awaiting the Ateneo Blue Eagles courtesy of the Ateneo Alumni Association. And I understand a whole barrel full, I think a whole truckload of beer will be at the Loyola Heights ready for a victory celebration. Still a long ways off, Dick. I know. June Marikip to Codinera as he tries to regain its composure. There's a get the ball cheer. A lot of pressure now on Yui. Mismatch the low post itself. Zamar against Reyes at the low post. Eight seconds left on the shot clock. Zamar is fouled. That's a bad foul by Nieto. Nieto picking him up and it'll be two charities for Zamar. There were just six seconds left on the shot clock and Zamar was going to take a spinning turnaround jumper which if he made it, well, you can do anything about it. They shouldn't have fouled him anymore. Okay, Jet Nieto collects foul number two. No player in foul trouble on the Ateneo side. A miss by Zamar. This jam-packed stadium is willing the Ateneo Blue Eagles to get back into this championship match. Like we said, Dick, if Ateneo is going to win this, it's going to be their spirit that's going to carry them through. 
And it's sheer force of numbers, really. Hardly any UE fans can be spotted in this gigantic crowd. Zomar misses again, and it's Jun Reyes. All the way to Chakiko, he's wide open for the layup. 85 to 83, just a two-point lead now by UE. What a recovery. UE has been nailed to 85 for more than three minutes now. And there is a first ball recovery. A jump forced on Zamar. The UE players are very tired. They've only gone to something like seven or eight players. And we have a timeout called by Roel Nadorata. The count is 85 for UE, 83 for Ateneo, with four minutes and 51 seconds to play. We'll be back shortly. Isang naantaw, San Miguel Beer. Look at me, son. You are number one. Naughty or nice, he's the world's number one child. Give him the world's number one milk, Nido, for all the nutrients he needs. Nido's made more children healthier worldwide than any other powdered milk. Look at me, son. You are number one. Number one. Nido, the world's number one powdered milk. Ganitong mainit ang labanan. Kailangan ko ng sure shot protection ng Rexona mask. Champion ng Rexona. For me, it's the longest lasting protection. Macho macho bang amoy. Rexona won't let you down. This is the only Filipino beer acclaimed as one of the best beers in the world. San Miguel beer. One of the world's best beers. Iba ang may pinagsamahan sa Miguel B. Yes, Ateneo is now within two points, and this is this came from a 20-point bubble, Dick. Right. There is a tap, a loose ball picked up by Villarreal. He tries a triple and misses. Loose ball over to June Reyes. Reyes moving in. A pass deflected, intended for Chuatico. Should have taken the layup. June Reyes should have taken the layup. That was a beautifully defended fast break by the UE Warriors. They wanted to break up the play, and they did. They scurried down court and tapped the ball out. Possible equalizer still in the hands of the Blue Eagles now. Ronald Chotico seems to have twisted his ankles. Chotico was going to be the intended receiver that time. It'll be a flat court throw in for Ateneo. Jet Nieto. Prepares to inbound. He gives it to Eric Reyes. Hands off to June. June Reyes sidesteps, lays up, misses. A follow-up by Araneta. And we've got a foul by Zamar. Yes, what's happening, Dick? That happened also a few times before when June Reyes penetrates and leaves his man. Jericho Dinera is forced to help out. And when Jericho Dinera goes for the help defense, uh, he leaves Alex Araneta to pound the boards offensively for the follow-up. Alex Araneta is playing the game of his life. We've not seen him so aggressive in the past. Yes, really intense. But he gets a bad break and misses on the first of two charities. Eric Reyes goes over to him to tell him to calm down and get the second. Just a two-point lead by UE. Araneta fires, and this one is short. Banyares comes down with possession. Four lost, and a half to go. Still lost the opportunity of there to tie. Banyares inside to Cadenera. The ball is tapped away, and it's Eric Reyes. 
fouled by Villarreal. by Villarreal. Referee Rado Mercado spotting that body contact by Villarreal, and this time it's Eric Reyes going to the line one on one. 13 team fouls committed by UE against seven by Ateneo, both teams in penalty situation. All important charities for Ateneo now. Eric Reyes has been missing a few since the early parts of the game. You know, everybody's standing up yes. from the reserve section all the way up to the bleachers. They're waiting for the equalizers. Eric Reyes since the first. Within one point. Four minutes and 23 seconds left. One more charity for Eric Reyes. He's been the pillar for the Blue Eagles. And that's the equalizer. It's 85 all from a 20 point deficit. One stop. One stop is all Ateneo needs now. Okay, their defense have tightened, and the Blue Eagles are back in the game. Back to square one. Barile. There's a foul by Eric Reyes. It'll be a one and one on the play. Eric was trying to crowd his man. And it'll be Banares, who is one of the more consistent shooters yes. of UE going to the line. We can chalk this up as two points already for That's you. right. Number 16 man is Banares of UE, a veteran of the PABL. He misses, though, and it's Araneta pulling it down. Power rebound. He really stretched out for that one. Four minutes left as Jun Reyes moves in, sees the opening. He is blocked. There's a tap and a save by Chotico at the baseline. Outside to Nieto. He takes a 15-foot jumper, misses, and there's a recovery by Banares over to Villarias. A bad pass. Jerry Codinha saves it. Three minutes and 40 seconds to go. It's all tied at 85. And the Ateneo fans are cheering for their team to get that ball inside to Villarias. Villarias spins around. There's a foul by Chuatico. Villarias will go to the line one on one. Three minutes and 32 seconds to go. Ateneo has not led after the opening salvo by JB Gayoso, which gave them a two to zero lead. And after that, they started to get submerged by an avalanche of points until they recovered from a 20 point deficit in an amazing recovery. Here's another dead shot from the foul line. Villarias. Again, feeling the pressure. Villarias sinks to break the deadlock. 86-85 for UE. Villarias could be the coolest player. Uh, even in the PA belt, this yes. guy never seems to be ruffled. He's always composed. Bernie Villarias misses the second, and it's June Reyes getting that rebound. Moving in, setting a pass to Nieto. Nieto wide open for the layup. It's the go ahead for the Blue Eagles. 87 to 86. Ateneo finally tasting the lead. Three minutes and 15 seconds to go. The UE Warriors are now embattled. Their composure has been shaken by that terrific recovery of Ateneo. And Ateneo's defenses have really tightened up like a corkscrew. Illegal pick, illegal pick there, yes. It's an illegal Good call pick. by Nick Peñalosa. And so we have a turnover on the play. Ateneo will get ball possession. And they still have a one-point lead. Technical on the coach. Technical yes. on Royal Nadorata as he challenged that call by got to be pacified. referee Rado Mercado. Be thrown out. We've got to pacify him. And he is still challenging the referee who is being calmed down now. You don't do that. You don't fight City Hall. And Royal Nadorata has committed that mistake. But he must have lost his cool, likewise, as a result of that call, that illegal pick, and referee Rado Mercado being pulled off. It seemed to me like a good call, Dick. Remember, even before we saw the set signal of the referee, I thought it was really an illegal pick already. I called it That's right That's right. Off. And there's baby De Lupin. He's been in the middle, really pacifying. That's right. He's doing a great job. He in came the over to apologize for the outburst of Coach Nadorata. Baby De Lupin coming. One of Baby De Lupin's players. Yes. When Baby had a terrific string of UAAP championships. We're going now to look for Baby De Lupin to take over, I think. He's going to handle this team. That's right. Seems to me. Three minutes and three seconds left. And let's find out whether Coach Nadorata has been thrown out. The 
The referees, Rado Mercado and Nick Peñalosa. And it looks like Coach Nadorata has been ejected. So, no, let's find out. He's no, still there. I don't there. think he was ejected. He's still there. But he'll have to watch it. He'll really have to cool off. Baby De Lupin still talking to referee Rado Mercado. And here comes Nadorata. He's going to apologize. But uh, referee Mercado doesn't want to accept the outstretched hand. Yeah, this should be a, a really ironed out. Dick. It's been a very good ball game, classic ball game, in fact. Pity to uh, let something like this uh, disrupt the ball game. Definitely so. But any championship encounter results in a lot of emotions running high. It's gonna be, it's gonna boil down to a battle of attrition, Dick. Both teams are really going to go at each other, and it's just no more finesse, no more tactics, no more strategy. It's just going to be the team in better condition, the team that wants it most, the hungrier team, is going to eventually come out. Of course, as, we approach, as we approach the end game, the breaks are going to play a major role here. And you can call this a good break for the Ateneo Blue Eagles. A technical foul called against the UE Warrior coach, Royal Nadorata, June Reyes, will take it after that turnover as a result of an illegal pick by the Warriors. 87-86 for Ateneo, June Reyes. Takes the first of two charities. It trickled in. He got a good bounce there. Dick, this is as opposed to the ordinary technical foul when the second shot should be balls in play. They call it a bench technical. So it's take two for Ateneo plus ball possession. But June Reyes splits his charities, and it'll be ball possession for the Blue Eagles, a two-point lead enjoyed by Ateneo, 88 to 86. That's the bench technical. It's like an intentional foul, the ruling. Right. Three minutes and three seconds left. It'll be a center line throw-in. Man-to-man defense by UE. The, in the inbound goes to Reyes. The Reyes Ateneo onslaught has forced UE to come out of the zone. They're now playing straight man-to-man. -man. Jet Nieto has it at I'm right quarter. Alex Araneta moving out. Holds the ball aloft. They've got to get the ball to Eric Reyes, who's only against Banyares at low post. An attempt by June Reyes is good. 90 to 86. Clutch hit by June. Quarter court connection. Two minutes and 35 seconds left. Barile over to Banyares. Banyares takes a hurried shot. And it's Eric Reyes over to June Reyes. Looks like Banyares is hurt. Could be. Cramps, Reyes fires again and misses this one. And we've got a foul by Alex Araneta this time. Jerry Codenera likewise, almost losing his cool. About to throw the ball at Jet Nieto. In the meantime, Banares is being helped by J.B. Galloso in a very good gesture of sportsmanship. He's suffering from cramps of the left leg. Tactical mistake by June Reyes there. It was right, he ran the break well, but when he had no flank passers, he should have pulled the ball back out. The problem was, when he got to the foul line area, he held the ball. He should not hold the ball. He should not stop his dribble, keep the ball moving. When the passers were not available, he should have pulled it out and killed the clock. That's right, but he committed himself, yes. and he was within the shaded area, so he, he had, had to yes, take the shot he had to take or suffer shot. a three-second call against him. 90 to 86, Ateneo by four. Banyares hops out of the game. He is being helped along by we, his teammates. We have an injury timeout here. It is actually a bout of cramps. In yes. tennis, cramps is not considered an injury. Uh, Banyares has not had any relief thus far, Dick. That's right, and he is paying for it. And coming in for the first time in this game is Hojilla, Modesto Hojilla. Two minutes, 20 UE. seconds left. This guy, Hojilla, He's dangerous. He's a very good three-point shooter. Yes. Ojilla is one of the veterans on the UE squad. Jerry Codinera will have a one-on-one -on -one situation. This pressure does not affect Codinera. And he misses, though. The rebound going to Chotico. All the way to John Reyes. Yeah, he's got to break it now. They will play the clock with a four-point lead. They're going to play the clock. And the crowd is yelling, shoot that ball. But Ateneo will play the clock and go for the hoop in the closing five to eight seconds, most likely. Ten seconds left on the shot clock. Here comes Nieto. Nieto fires and misses. And there is a loose ball with Araneta tripping. Ojilla 
with a very long outlet pass. Zama had to stretch out. We've got a miss. By what a rebound. What a rebound by the small man. There's a foul on the play going against Ohelia on June Reyes. June Reyes battling the big men and coming through with ball possession. He will go to the line with a minute and 43 seconds to go. The Blue Eagle babbling battalion is all excited and in an uproar. We spot Danny Francisco's older brother <laughs> leading yes. the cheering in the ringside area. His whole family is also here except for the mother who's with him in the hospital That's right, right now. My compadre, Justice Cardin Francisco, must be in seventh heaven. He used to play for Ateneo. Jun Reyes with another clutch hit. Five-point lead now for the Blue Eagles, 91-86. to 86. Nick, At this point, I'd like also to make mention of my grandfather, uh, Leonardo Reyes, who passed away. He he's been dreaming of an Ateneo birth in the finals ever since he started cheering for the Ateneo squad in the UAP. And for his grandson, Jun Reyes, to play yes. such a major role in it is really something. We have a foul on the play by Chuatico, and it prevented the counting of a triple, the foul occurring before the release. Before the shot, yes. 92 to 86 on two hits from the line by Jun Reyes, who has strung up a total of five points in the last minute and a half. Ateneo's defense now will have to be extended on the three-point perimeter. Villarias is there, Samar is there, Hujila is there. Even Codinera will take the three-point shot if given the opportunity. Yui is still very much in the battle, yes. and Villarias sinks his first try. And we've got a foul by Eric Reyes, but there will be a second try given to Villarias. It looks like Villarias will get his second yes, his try. Second shot. And, then and then a one-on-one -on -one on one -on -one for Barile. Eric Reyes picking up a personal foul. That'll be foul number four against him. Other players with four fouls are Alex Araneta. Now that was a bad break for Ateneo. What a, what a good break for UE. That's right, 92 to 88. They have a chance to hit four points here. And the Blue Eagles are not out of danger at all with a four-point lead and Barile on the line. Barile for a one-on-one -on, -one on that foul by Eric Reyes. Blue Eagles have to play composed basketball. Yes. Barile goes for his second try as he sinks his first. Three straight points from the line by UE. They have already regained their composure, and this makes them very, very dangerous indeed. 92 to 89. Blue Eagles by only three. Now. A minute and 37. That's plenty of time. Four straight points from the line by UE. As Villarias confronts June Reyes. Reyes moves into the front court, gets away from a possible trap, moves off to the right flank. He is crowded, jumps a pass. Chuatico fires and misses. And we've got the possible equalizer. Villarias loses the ball good and break, a tap out by June Reyes. What a terrific defensive run by June Reyes. 92 to 90, it'll be a front court throw in for UE. Possible equalizer in the hands of the Warriors. Chuatico feeling pain in his leg. I think he should be replaced. Villarias against Chuatico. 68 seconds left. Villarias to Barile. Get that ball echoing from the stands. There's a Ohilia for a three-point try. And we've got a foul on the play. They should have given that. Jun Reyes fouling Ohilia. That means he will take three, three from yes. the line. Uh, very uh, experienced play by Ohilia. He saw Jun Reyes coming out him, at him, so he extended his leg, and Jun Reyes made contact with that. Only 61 seconds to go, and Ohilia now can come off the bench and turn into a hero if he can convert all three charities. Suddenly the tide has shifted, Dick. Four straight points knocked in from the line by UE, and now three straight charities will be given to Ohilia. A six-foot yes. substitute of Roel Nadorata this after Banyares limped off with cramps. This guy is steady. He's, he's a great three-point shooter. Codinera going up to Ohelia and encouraging him. Not only do we have the possible equalizer, but the possible go-ahead in the hands of Ohelia. Three straight charities. And this coverage is coming your way courtesy of Milo Nescafe Classic Carnation and Pepsi. But Ohelia misses on his first try. Which means that he will only have two chances to equalize. 
June Reyes was being warned off. It looks like he was razzing Ojilia from behind. Ojilia makes his second oh, what final a good break. lucky break. The ball took a good bounce and sank. And the possible equalizer is in the hands of Modesto Ojilia. He flips and sinks it for the tying marker. And now it's anybody's ball game. It's all tied at 92. 55 seconds Eric left. Reyes is being guarded by David Samar. Ateneo will have to go to him at the low post. John Reyes waiting for the pattern of the offensive play to break out. Moves around his man, goes under the hoop and loses the ball at the baseline. And now Yui with 41 seconds to go will have a chance to grab the lead. No flanks open, too much dribbling by Reyes. Okay, now Yui will take the shot and possibly a go-ahead basket for the Warriors season with a lot of championships stuck under their belt. Kalilan can still call a timeout. If Yui makes his basket, he's got to call a timeout. 22 seconds left. Ojilia goes for the hoop and misses. And we've got a loose ball picked up by Chotiko. And Chotiko... Intentional foul. Intentional foul. Yes, good call by Nick 16 Penelope. seconds to go. Chotiko will take two and ball possession will be given to Ateneo. Ojilia embraced Chotiko at that time. That's right. He should have done that because Chotiko was deep in UE territory yes. and there was no possibility of his being able to even score or give a good assist pass. And a, a, a simple foul, a simple foul would have been enough. That's right. Just give uh, Chotiko one on one. But he held on. He probably was disappointed at his not giving UE the lead earlier. 16 seconds left in this exciting championship match. And we will return shortly. Hmm, bango, Cynthia, ha? Ako ang yung konsyensya. Dapat skin germ protection ang batayan. Gusto ko mas mabango eh. Dapat skin germ protection. Tama, pero gusto ko mas mabango. Mas mabango ka mo? Narito na. Bagong Safeguard Gold with new fresh. Fragrance! Mm, nakakasiglang bango! At dulot pa rin ang mas mabisang Safeguard Protection. Ngayon, dalawa na ang Safeguard. Original Safeguard at bagong Safeguard Gold with new Fresh Fragrance! Mm, bango! Pero may Safeguard Protection. Malinis ang konsensya ko. If you were to look under the hood of cars made since 1919, You'd be surprised to find something common to many of them. Oriental, the country's first battery. The first to introduce technological innovations. And today, the first choice of many motorists. If Oriental can last that long, it must be really good. Oriental battery, since 1919. Una Salahat. Kailangan ko ng sure shot protection ng Rexona mask. Champion ng Rexona. For me, it's the longest lasting protection. Macho macho bang amoy. Rexona. On court for Ateneo, we have Eric Reyes, Jet Nieto, Chuatico, who is going to be the man of the moment. Lessons in the past, Dick. Alex Araneta. The very first time Ateneo figured in the championship in the MMBL against San Sebastian Chotico was in a very exact same situation and he missed his foul shots. Okay, 16 seconds to go. Chotico misses his first. Ateneo will still have ball possession after this. He's got to relax. Just make one. Just make one. Give Ateneo the lead and put the pressure on Yui. Second try by Chotico is good. So Ateneo takes the lead 93 to 92 and we have a center line throw in for the Blue Eagles. 16 seconds to hold on to the ball. This is now going to be Right, and the pressure is on Eric Reyes. He gives it to Chotico. Almost lost the ball. He is crowded. 
moves out of trouble. He gives it to Jun Reyes. Eight seconds left. Reyes back to Chetico. Spread out. They don't it's even have to take a shot. Five seconds to go. Over to Eric. Eric is fouled. It's, it's an foul. foul. Intentional foul. Jerry Cordenera fouls out. Three seconds to go. It looks like the ball game for the Blue Eagles. And look at those streamers being unfurled. We're number one, the Blue Eagles. If we could see the top court, Chotico and Jun Reyes are really hugging each other. Jun Reyes, Chotico, Jet Nieto, Eric Reyes, Alex Araneta, all standouts in this ball game. But it was Alex Araneta Alex who did Araneta. the yeoman's chores, and Eric Reyes, likewise, who was so steady. First of two charities is a failure by Eric Reyes. Dick, it's not yet over. Three seconds, a long time. But by Jerry Codenera fouls out second try by Eric Reyes is good and Ateneo will have ball possession I wonder why Codinera still in the in the court Codinera committed his fifth foul there's the inbound and uh, game's over and the buzzer sounds Ateneo is the UAP champions of 1987 Final score, 94 for Ateneo, 92 for UE. San Miguel Beer. If you were to look under the hood of cars made since 1919, you'd be surprised to find something common to many of them. Oriental, the country's first battery. The first to introduce technological innovations. And today, the first choice of many motorists. If Oriental can last that long, it must be really good. Oriental Battery, since 1919. Una Really battled back to win it in dramatic style and fashion. It was the good old Ateneo spirit that prevailed once again. The entire Coliseum is jubilant. Everybody is cheering the magnificent effort of this Ateneo team. And we have the championship trophies being awarded at the moment there is the blue eagle cheer now with father raymond holcher giving to skipper joey canlas the uwap trophy symbolizing superiority of the blue eagles in 1987 in the university amateur athletic association of the philippines so in the meantime while awaiting the scores let's go back to our main studios for these important messages Scoring for eight, Eric Reyes, after scoring only four points in the first half, hit for 18 in the second half, total of 22 points. Jun Reyes, 12 points in the second half, aside from contributing 10 assists or 13 assists total. And in the second half, he also led the team in rebounding defensive-wise with five defensive rebounds. And then 15 points from uh, number seven guy, Jet Nieto, and then nine points from... Uh, uh, Nonoy Chotikos, eight points for Joseph Canlas, and then the rest five points for Alex Araneta, four points for Mel Baza, and for a total of 94 total points. But on the other hand, uh, you eat 92 points, 17 from Bernie Villarreal, 16 points from Banyares, who had to sit out the last three minutes because of uh, cramps, 15 points from uh, June Marikit, of all people. Dick. What a surprise he yeah. was. 13 points for uh, Dado Barile, Jerry Codinera way off his game, only 10 points. So he was the big difference. And 8 points from uh, David Samar, 5 points from Bartolome, 6 points from Elia, and then 2 points from uh, Modesto Hojilla. On behalf of our sponsors, Milo, Nescafe Classic, Carnation, Pepsi, for the entire technical and production staff, of this coverage led by our director Danny Ochoa and of course for my partner 
Chot Reyes. Nickel DeFonso saying, fly high, Blue Eagles. Congratulations. Thank you and good night. Keep your date with your favorite professional cagers in PBA 87 here on the number one sports station, People's Television 4. Oh.